गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट्स सेशन विच स्टेट लॉन्च द मुख्यमंत्री वृक्ष संपदा योजना छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च द मुख्यमंत्री वृक्ष संपदा योजना ऑन द अकेजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड फॉरेस्ट्री डे and under the scheme the state government will provide full subsidy for the tree plantation on up to 5 acres of land and 50% financial subsidy on more than 5 acres okay so mukhyamantri vriksh sampada yojana belongs to chatisgarh state government now when do we observe the world forestry day it is observed on 21st of march every year and this year theme is forest and health okay also this day is known as international day of forest now if we talk about few important scheme so recently indian government has announced the establishment of seven pm mitra parks right and uh, it works under the ministry of textile and these seven mitra parks would be established in seven different states which are these tamil nadu telangana karnataka maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh fine now you'd have heard about a scheme named as samarth this is basically a scheme for capacity building in the textiles sector and uh, the aim is to provide incentive and create jobs in the organized textile industry and its related sectors so you can be asked that samarth scheme is associated with which ministry answer would be ministry of textile now recently jal jal abhiyan has been implemented by the ministry of jal shakti and aim is water conservation right now you have to tell me which state has launched the mukhyamantri lagli behna yojana for women empowerment do let me know in the comments now next is which city is the host of the g20 research and innovation initiative gathering conference so more than 100 delegates participated in this two day g20 research and innovation initiative gathering conference the host of which is dibrugarh in the state of assam right and during the conference discussions were held on the ways towards building a sustainable and circular bio economy fine now if we talk about the different meetings under the g20 so first of all the very first culture working group meeting under g20 presidency was held in khajuraho and khajuraho lies in the state of madhya pradesh then Manipur hosted the B20 conference recently under India's G20 presidency and what was the theme for this event theme was sustainable growth and development okay now which city was the host for the very first sustainable finance working group meeting so it was hosted by guwahati in the state of assam also the host for the first employment working group meeting is jodhpur rajasthan state okay so these are the different host under g20 that we have to remember now next is able prize is conferred to recognize outstanding contributors of which particular field so able prize is conferred every year by the king of norway country to recognize one or more outstanding mathematicians and uh, this year it has been awarded to argentina american mr luis caffarelli who is an expert in partial differentiation equations which can actually explain the phenomena ranging from how water flows to the population growth fine so first of all able prize is associated with mathematics field and it is given by the norway country 
and this year it has been awarded to Mr. Louis Caffrelli. Okay. Talking about important awards and honors, recently Saraswati Samman 2022 has been conferred to Tamil writer Siva Sankari. Okay. Now our RBI Governor Mr. Shakti Kant Das has been given the Governor of the Year award. You can be asked that which country has got this Governor of the Year award? Answer would be India. Now, as we know that a documentary named as Elephant Whisperers has won the Oscar award for being the best short documentary, right? And also Natu Natu song from the movie Triple R has been declared as the best original song in the Oscars. And if you talk about the Padma Awards, this year a total of 106 Padma Awards have been announced in which the segregation is like 91 Padma Shri, 9 Padma Bhushan and 6 Padma Vibhushan. Fine. Now next is, as per the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India's recommendations, what is the maximum number of community radio stations which can be set up by any organization? So, recently it has released its recommendations on issues related to community radio stations and now it recommended that no organization should be permitted to set up more than six community radio stations throughout the country. Fine. So your correct answer would be B option that is six. Next is which department launched the AIS for taxpayer mobile application. So this mobile application was launched recently by the income tax department and this application actually allows the taxpayers to view the information as available in the annual information statement or the taxpayer information summary. Fine. So this mobile application has been developed by income tax department. Now if we talk about few important applications, there is an application named as Khan, Khanan Prahari application and it has been developed by Ministry of Coal to curb illegal mining especially in the states like Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. Okay, So this application is associated with Ministry of Coal. Now there is this EV Yatra mobile application and it has been developed by Bureau of Energy Efficiency. Why? To facilitate in-vehicle navigation to the nearest public charger for the electric vehicle users. Fine. Right? Now, another very famous application is Sarthi. And uh, this Sarthi application belongs to SEBI. And SEBI has launched this application to provide information about the securities market to its customer. Fine. Right? The Sarthi application is of SEBI. Now next is Asia's largest 4 meter international liquid mirror telescope was launched in which Indian state? So Asia's largest 4 meter international liquid mirror telescope was launched recently at Devsthal in the state of Uttarakhand. And this telescope was inaugurated recently in Aryabhat Research Institute of Observational Sciences. And talking about this telescope, it is the very first liquid mirror telescope that was designed exclusively for astronomical observations. And this is the first optical survey telescope in India basically. Right? So Asia's largest 4 meter international liquid mirror telescope has been launched in the state of Uttarakhand. So talking about few important states that were in news, you'd have heard about a mission named as Pattaya mission. And uh, this mission belongs to Kerala state. Kerala state has launched this mission. Why? To tackle land record issues in the state. Fine. Now, recently, Shiv Moga airport has been inaugurated in the state of Karnataka. You can be asked that Shiv Moga airport has been inaugurated in which Indian state? Now, talking about Kerala state, it is also the first state to use the robotic manhole cleaners. Also, there is a district in Kerala named as Kollam. And why this is important? Because Kollam is India's first 
constitution literate district fine and here to make it constitutionally literate district a campaign was enforced here named as the citizen fine now next is c bud application which was seen in the news recently is associated with which field so prime minister narendra modi launched this application the full form is call before you dig why to facilitate coordination between excavation agencies and underground utility owners to prevent the damage to utilities due to digging fine and uncoordinated digging and excavation lead to the losses of about 3000 crore rupees every year that's why this application has been enforced so here correct answer would be excavation and full form is also important what is this call before you dig so can you tell me which union ministry is associated with the bharat 6g version document actually prime minister narendra modi along with international telecommunication union secretary and it minister ashwini vashna releases this bharat 6g vision document and this document seeks to launch 6g communication servers in india by the end of 2030 and india has set up a bharat 6g project to identify and fund research and deployment of the next generation technology in the country according to this particular vision document so you can be asked that which union ministry is related with this bharat 6g version document answer would be ministry of electronics and it okay next is which indian firm has partnered with australia based aai to manufacture albatross amphibious aircraft so this is a 28 seater aircraft that is capable of landing and taking off from the land snow and water and an indian defense firm named as hawking defense services has entered into a procurement com partnership agreement with this australia based aai that is amphibian aerospace industries to manufacture this particular aircraft so your correct answer is hawking defense services now let's see few important partnerships first of all india and world bank have signed an agreement for development of the green national highway corridors in total four states and which are these four states himachal pradesh rajasthan uttar pradesh and andhra pradesh so for this purpose we have signed this agreement with the world bank also samsung semiconductor india research has announced a new partnership with iisc bangalore to promote research and development in the field of on chip electrostatic discharge protection fine so for this purpose samsung has partnered with iisc bangalore next is seti river hydropower project is to be constructed in which country so this 450 megawatt seti river 6 hydropower project is a proposed project that will be constructed in doti and acham districts of nepal country so recently nhpc limited india has been permitted by the investment board of nepal to study this project that's why it was in news okay so seti river hydropower project is to be constructed in nepal country next is which country host the cobra warrior air exercise so this is organized twice a year and it is the largest air exercise which is hosted by the uk's royal air force and in this addition of exercise 70 aircrafts are taking part including india's five myrage 2000 aircrafts okay so uk host this cobra warrior air exercise now if we talk about few important exercises there is this bold kurukshetra recently it was in news and this is the exercise between india and the country singapore now as we know that colonel geeta rana is the first woman to command an army battalion okay and ips officer rashmi shukla is our new director general of ssp 
Also, Dust Lake is exercise between India and the country Uzbekistan, right? Now you have to tell me with which country we perform exercise named as Ajay Warrior. Do let me know in the comment section. Now next is National Center for Sustainable Coastal Management is located in which Indian state? So the National Center for Sustainable Coastal Management, Chennai, is a research institute under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and the Climate Change. And it was set up in 2011 as a research institute to support the conservation, protection, restoration and management of Indian coast. So the first general body meeting of this National Center for Sustainable Coastal Management was held recently and that's why it was in news. Okay, so it lies in the state of Tamil Nadu. The last question says, when is the World Meteorological Day observed? So this day is observed every year on 23rd of March and it marks the day when the convention establishing the World Meteorological Organization came into force in the year 1950. And this year the theme is the future of weather, climate and water across generations. This was the whole theme. Okay. Now when do we observe the world Down Syndrome Day? It is observed on 21st of March and uh, on 20th of March every year we celebrate the World Happiness Day. And what was the theme for this year? This year the theme is be mindful, be grateful and be kind. Okay. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with our revision session in which we are doing the current affairs revision for the month of January. And this is the last and the final part in this series means this is the part 16th of this session. And today we'll be winding up this series starting from 226 up to question number 240. Let's start. What is the deadline for the banks to complete renewal of agreement for safe deposit lockers of the customers? So Reserve Bank of India gave banks time till end of December 2023 to complete the renewal of agreement for the existing safe deposit lockers of the customers. Earlier banks were required to complete the process by 1st of January 2023. But now this deadline has been increased. Which country has launched new schemes including scheduling special interviews to reduce the delays in visa processing in India? This is US. US has launched several new schemes to reduce the delays in visa processing in India. And initiatives include scheduling special interviews for the first time applicants. And basic aim is to cut the delays in the visa processing in India. Estonia, which recently expelled the Russian ambassador, is located in which region? Answer is Europe. Estonia is a country in Northern Europe and it borders the Baltic Sea and the Gulf of Finland. So Russia and Estonia have expelled the ambassadors from each of these countries few days back. Which country has declared a medical emergency after malnutrition and other diseases brought by gold mining? So Brazil's Ministry of Health declared a medical emergency because of malnutrition in the children and other type of diseases that were brought by the gold mining. Which state has launched a scheme to rent the drones to low income farmer? Answer is Rajasthan. Rajasthan has launched a scheme to provide the drones to the low income farmers on rent to help them monitor the crops and spray chemicals on the crop. So nearly 1500 drones will be made available at custom hiring centers by the state government in two years. Next is, which city is the host of the International Craft Summit in India? Answer is Jaipur. So this summit was organized in Jaipur, Rajasthan to promote the craft products from Odisha state. What is the name of the cluster of digital solutions like Aadhaar, UPI, DigiLocker, Covin, Government E-Marketplace and GSTN? This is India Stack and India Stack is a multi-layer cluster of digital solutions which have played a significant role in the digital transformation in India. And why it was in news because 
द फर्स्ट इंडिया स्टैक डेवलपर कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज सेट टू बी हेल्ड इन न्यू डेल्ही टू एंश्योर वाइडर एडोप्शन ऑफ इंडिया डिजिटल गुड्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड द मोनुमेंट मित्रा स्कीम वॉज ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म टू विच मिनिस्ट्री सो मोनुमेंट मित्रा स्कीम वॉज ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म टू मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर रिसेंटली विच स्टेट इज नोन फॉर सेलिब्रेटिंग द एनुअल ऑरेंज फेस्टिवल आंसर इज नागालैंड इन नागालैंड द थर्ड एडिशन ऑफ दिस एनुअल ऑरेंज फेस्टिवल वॉज बींग सेलिब्रेटेड इन इट्स कोहिमा डिस्ट्रिक्ट and the orange festival is celebrated to recognize the hard work of the orange growers while facilitating them the market linkages cervical cancer vaccine servavac has been jointly developed by the indian government along with which institution so this vaccine has been developed jointly by the serum institute of india and the indian government's department of biotechnology and the first indigenously developed cervical cancer vaccine that is servavac for 9 to 14 years of old has been launched recently and this vaccine will now be included in the national immunization program by the mid 2023 next is as per the kantar india union budget survey 2023 what is the concern among the customers regarding budget announcement so according to this survey inflationary pressure remained the top most concern among the consumers regarding the center's budget announcement on 1st of february 2023 actually 3 out of 4 indians expressed their concern about the rising inflation and uh, want the government to introduce measures to tackle these challenges which union ministry is associated with the competition amendment bill 2022 so it is associated with ministry of finance which institution has proposed to use river names as tagline and branding for its product this is agricultural and processed food export development authority that is apeda so they have proposed to use river name as tagline and branding for indian agricultural product as of 2022 which state is the biggest producer of bajra and second largest in jowar this is rajasthan Rajasthan is the biggest producer of bajra and it is the second largest in terms of jowar. For the first time in football history which country initiated white card in a match? This is Portugal country. So these are the next 15 questions from the month of January and with this we have completed our January month current affairs revision session. Now we'll switch to either February or October. You have to tell me which month you want me to revise. and uh, you can write your opinion regarding selection of the month for the revision part also don't forget to give your feedback for our revision initiative now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK today. With this news at Sana signing off.